Welcome back YouTube fans, and I'm doing a double review of the Figma number 346 and 347 from ReZero, starting your life in another world, Ram and Rem. Now, Rem is the blue-haired one, and Ram is the pink-haired one. These two are the maids from this series and are both demons. That's why you see here, on this one, she has a horn. In the series backstory she had one but it was cut off when she was younger so she no longer has it and as such does not have the combat powers that her sister does. Ram is the older of the twins as she came out with but apparently there's a bit of tension between the two over the fact that she lost her horn and she can no longer protect her little sister. Though her little sister is apparently can go quite axe crazy on occasion. At any rate, as you can see, we've got two figments here. So we're going to do each one separately. But first, let me show you the boxes. Now, something you should note is that they switch around the colors. Pink, blue, blue, pink. So there's a little thing there. But these two figures are basically meant to be a set. As you can see, sides here are quite complementary to one another. Bottoms are pretty much the same as the tops, but take on the back. As you can see, it's got the usual thing where all the parts are shown. But something you should take into account is that you will see that she is in this corner here with her sister on both boxes. That is because they come with a part in each one to link the two figures together, them grasping hands. So these two figures really are basically a set. You get one, you probably want to get the other. So. Without further ado, let's get to reviewing each one. Now, we'll be starting with Rem. She's 346. Rem comes with a weapon, unlike her sister, because losing her horn in the series, Ram doesn't have the fighting power that her sister has now. So she wields a ball and chain. As you can see, it comes with a stand. There's a little plug-in on the ball here, so it doesn't have to be plugged into that. There's a plastic chain, but also, as you saw earlier, a metal chain with a plug. This little plug just plugs in and out. Pretty simple. No little catches on it, so it can go in any way. It comes with your usual assortment of hands, so she's got a nice ten of them, which is nice. Some of the figmas I've gotten more recently have had fewer hands in them, something I always disliked because... I like to have options on these things, especially when they've got to grip something unusual. Another thing that's nice is she's got two different hairstyles. This one, she her hair is, you know, fanned out a little more on this side, but also her horn is showing. However, you can also pop that out. for one that is not. And it doesn't have anything, you know, really noticeable. There's an identical one for both maids. Uh, the only difference being this one has a horn. I'm not sure if it's meant to be the fact that they're both psychotic during that stage or not. But we do have three faces. The one you see on her is her more psychotic face, while we've also got ones for these two. Or just, you know, kind eyes, one of her looking to the side and mouth open. You know, pretty standard. Plus, both of them come with a tray. So if you really want to, you can have them holding a little tray. Now, there aren't any cups or anything to put on it. Some Figmas I've seen in the past have those. Though, since the Figmas are about 1 1 twelfth... Sorry one twelfth scale, you can probably find some dollhouse furniture that would work if you need like cups or things to put on there. Sorry about before, I was thinking of Gundam, one one forty-fourth scale. Anyway, 
but that's basically Rem. She's like any other Figma in the line. Good poseability in the arms and legs. Head moves all around nicely. Fits into the back in the lower back to the rear end area, which I have always thought that was the better place to put the plug hole for the stand because putting it in the small of the back is just... It doesn't work as often with many figures. Some it does, some it doesn't. But I found that with a lot of female figures, the lower back to the rear end area is usually the best place to put the plug hole for the stand. But as you can see, they've got soft plastic parts here and here. As for this, fair bit of motion and movement possibility on the lower body. Even the Though it's a dress, it's not a hard plastic, which is a nice touch. You got to be careful with those. They do have segments, as you can see. But one problem with the soft plastic is don't let this stuff stay out in the sunlight or it'll either get brittle or hard and then you'll be stuck. But otherwise, it's a good figure. And they're pretty much identical, but I'm going to go over the other one too now. Now, here we have... Ram. Now, she doesn't have any combat weapons, but what she comes with instead is more hands. We've got her standard ones here, pretty much identical, but she also comes with an additional two and one holding a potato. She also has a kitchen knife. That's mainly because she's in charge of cooking in the series. She also has her own carrying plate, so She's pretty much the same as her sister figure, except that, as I mentioned, she doesn't have a horn on her second set of hair, and she has a potato and a knife instead of a ball and chain. And she, too, has a pair of hands that grasp each other so that they can be done for that pose on the box. Overall, as you can see, the figure's pretty much the same. Now, something to keep in mind on both is this little hair doodad. It can come out, it is very small and delicate. You will break it if you're not careful. So keep an eye on that. It's something you want to avoid busting. But otherwise, figure is all but identical to the other one. In fact, I'm tempted to say that the only thing different is the head on these ones. I honestly think that if you look at them closely, I don't see any accretable difference, and since they're twins, these two are effectively the same figure other than the head. So, it cuts. I started to wonder, why didn't they just package this as one figure with two different sets of head, and then, and then you could just buy two of them and switch them around? Other than the accessories, which would give you a fair bit more, but more is always better in my opinion. But that's a marketing decision I leave up to the people above me. Either way, you get two really good figures out of this mold. So there you have it. That's Rem and Ram, figures number 346 and 347 from Good Smile. Now, they're really good figures, and I do recommend them if you're a fan, or if you're wanting to build like a diorama and need some maids for this, it, or if they're just something you like, I'd go for it. Setting them up like this is not too hard. The trickiest part is getting their sleeves to line up pretty well. Otherwise, it's a pretty cool little extra bit you can do with them. At any rate... Like, subscribe, and comment below. Share this video if you could. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.